Salto de Kira is a restricted weapons testing range and rocket launching site near Pertas de Fogu on Sardinia. It is the largest military range in Italy, composed of 12,000 hectares of land owned by the Italian Ministry of Defense and one of the largest in operation within the European Union. Birth defects and cancer in the area have been blamed on weaponry used at the site. Sardinia hosts about 60% of Italian military ranges and together with Friuli Venezia Giulia is one of the most militarized regions of Italy. Salto di Chira primarily launches military rockets, but civilian rockets, such as the Skylark, have occasionally been launched for the study of the upper atmosphere. The Salto di Chira range is located close to the town of Pertas de Fogu in a mountainous zone at the southeast of Sardinia. It is an inter-arm range, currently placed under the authority of the Italian Air Force. Its main activity deals with the tests of various types of tactical missiles used or built by Italy, or in collaboration. This base was used, at the beginning of the 1960s, for the first sounding rockets launches carried out by the CRA Centro Ricerche Aerospaziale in cooperation with the Italian Air Force and NASA. Three campaigns of Nike ASP and Nike Cajun launches took place, in 1961 and 1963. From 1964 and until 1972, it was used for the ESRO sounding rockets program using especially Skylark and Centaur rockets, but also Bellier and Zenit during this period. Some sounding rockets were also launched on behalf of Switzerland and Germany. After 1972, the Salto di Chira activities in the field of rocketry were limited to national programs. Three Alpha experimental vehicles were launched successfully in 1973-75. A test of San Marco Scout rocket, in 1992, was less successful. Topic. Vega test firings Topic. Zafiro 9 Two test firings of the Zafiro 9 rocket engine, designed to power the third stage of the Vega launch vehicle, have been conducted at Salto di Chira. The first test firing took place 20 December 2005 and was a complete success. The second firing, on 28 March 2007, experienced unexpected anomalous behavior. Topic. Space and missiles operations From its very first start, the Salto di Chira Sardinia firing range played a relevant role in Italian space operations. The range belonged to the ITAF Ammunition Research Unit, since 1956 headed by Luigi Broglio whose name had been put forward by General Mario Pezzi. In 1959, the Italian National Research Council CNR, and ITAF started a research program in the outer atmosphere using rocket-carried probes. In 1961, together with NASA, CNR planned a series of weather experiments releasing clouds of lithosodium carried in the atmosphere by USA-built Nike Cajun missiles launched from the Wallops Islands Base VA, and Salto di Chira Italy range. High altitude atmospheric streams could be measured quite accurately observing contemporarily the litho sodium clouds from seven ground stations in Italy, five in Sardinia and one each at Ferbera Base and Borgo Piave Observation Post. The first launch of the series took place on January 12, 1961. A two-stage Nike Cajun missile released 20 kilograms of sodium and lithium dust at an altitude of 90 kilometers, 270,000 feet. Six launches altogether were accomplished successfully. Broglio and his team set even a record, a triple launch within 24 hours, starting on the morning of January 19 and ending up the evening of the day after. Thanks to media reporting, the world at large was informed of Italian space research activities and that it was operating a missile launching pad. After this exploit, the Salto di Chira base was involved in many research programs particularly in the European Space Research Organization ESRO framework. In 1962 ESRO planned a series of eight launches to study the outer atmosphere and the ionosphere. 
These experiments were to be fundamental to build the European Space Agency in the following years. British built Skylark and French built Centaur missiles were used for the tests. The high level of both personnel and facilities at Salto di Kira made it the favorite launching base of ESRO until 1972, following an agreement signed in Paris in 1967 by ESRO's CEO, Pierre Auger. In 1985 the Avio company built a vertical structure in Salto di Kira to test the engines of the European vectors Ariane 3 and Ariane 4 and the Zafiro vector, from its prototype Zafiro 16 to Zafiro 9 down to number 23 in the series. At Salto di Kira the second and third stages of Vega were tested thoroughly, the Vega being a new European vector developed and built mostly by Italian firms. Topic. Birth defects and cancer Local citizens have coined the term Kira syndrome for an increase in deformities and cancer in the area. In one town, a quarter of children born in a single year in the late 1980s had birth defects. However, in 2011 a memo instructed military officials to blame inbreeding. Researchers discovered that almost two-thirds of local shepherds had cancer, which has been blamed on thorium dust and depleted uranium. Former commanders of the site have since been made to appear before the Italian courts. <laughs> 